Unreal Engine 5.3 brings wide-ranging improvements to existing core UE5 features, as well as introducing some exciting new experimental feature sets that extend the potential for more creative workflows directly in the Unreal Editor. With sparse volume textures, you can store and playback fake simulation data for volumetric effects such as smoke and fire. SVTs can be simulated in Niagara or imported from open VDB files created in other 3D applications. And for cinematics, films, and other linear media, you can now use the Path Tracer for high quality volumetric rendering, including global illumination, shadows, and scattering. Orthographic rendering is also now supported as an experimental feature, offering stylistic camera choices for games and visualization. It's available in the Unreal Editor and at runtime, with support for most UE5 features, including Lumen, Nanite, Shadows, and Temporal Super Resolution. Next up, an experimental new Skeletal Editor provides you with a variety of tools for working with your skeletal meshes, including the ability to paint skin weights. Another experimental feature set introduces a new panel cloth editor that delivers better looking simulations and adds support for a non-destructive cloth simulation workflow where you can trade off speed for precision. Cloth can also now be simulated and cached in engine using the ML Deformer. On the virtual production front, in preparation for the next generation of LED production stages, we've added experimental support to in-display for SIMT ST2110. This lays the groundwork for a range of hardware configurations that open up new possibilities for LED stages, including having a dedicated machine for each camera frustum, maximizing the potential rendering resolution, increasing frame rate, and allowing for more complex scene geometry and lighting than previously possible. We've also added a new Cinecam Rig Rail Actor that enables filmmakers to emulate traditional camera movement along tracks or on dollies. It provides the ability to choreograph camera settings at different control points along the path and supports both in editor and VCAM workflows. Talking of VCAM, you can now browse takes directly on the iPad for review or re-recording. Simultaneously stream different output for different team members and record at a slower frame rate for easier capture of fast moving action. And last but not least, you can now leverage additional CPU and memory resources when cooking content. These are just some of the highlights of what's new in Unreal Engine 5.3. You can find out more on our What's New page where you'll also find a link to download the release if you're a new user. Otherwise, it's available right from your Epic Games launcher. Enjoy.